hello everyone welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share with you this new 2.5 billion medium model from stable diffusion this model is part of stable diffusion 3.5 family where we already have covered the large version previously on the channel which you can search here this model 3.5 medium is a small yet quite full of power and quality this is a multi-modal diffusion transformer with improvements in text-to-image modality that features improved performance in image quality, typography, complex prompt understanding, and resource efficiency. The large model is more performant, I would say, but medium, besides of its size, is quite surprisingly um, quality-oriented, which is very, very pleasant surprise for me because I was not expecting it to be as good as I have seen in few of the tests which I have done recently. For this video, I am going to install it locally from scratch and then we will also generate few of the images from text to see how it performs. As I said, it is a diffusion transformer text to image generative model and this model generates images based on text prompt. It also uses three fixed pre-trained text encoders with QK normalization to improve training stability and dual attention blocks in the first 12 transformer layers which really makes a difference. The license is interesting as usual from Stable Diffusion or Stability AI. It is free for research, non-commercial and commercial use for organization or individual with less than $1 million in total annual revenue. I would highly suggest if you are looking to deploy this commercially, check the model card and their licensing terms because that is important. I will also drop the link to it in video's description. So let's try to get this thing installed and we will see how it works. Before I do that, allow me to introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's try to get this model installed on our local system. The tool which I'm going to use for it is Comfy UI. If you don't know what Comfy UI, please go to my channel and then search with easiest tutorial on Comfy UI. And just watch this first video and I am more than sure that you will be up and running with Comfy UI in no time after watching this video and I will drop the link to it in video's description too. Now I already have Comfy UI installed and it is loaded here but before you do anything with Comfy UI you would need to download this model. So the way Comfy UI works is that it it is a node based and it segregates stuff into directories. So for that, first you would need to go to the model card on Hugging Face. From there, click on this file tab. Once you click on this file tab, you will see that there are a lot of model files here. Scroll down and you will see this ST 3.5 medium safe tensors. Click on it and make sure you are logged into Hugging Face with your email address. It is a free account and you would need to accept the terms and conditions too. Once you are here on the st 3.5 medium tensor file, click on right click on download and then save link as. In Comfy UI, wherever you have installed Comfy UI, go to Comfy UI models checkpoint and in the checkpoint directory, just save this. And these instructions are valid for any operating system, including Windows. So we have our model now, but you would also need three more files, which are the clip files. Clip files are used in very simple words to convert your text to model readable format. So text means whatever text prompt you are giving it. For that, you would need to go to this repo on Hugging Face, which is comfy-org, stable diffusion 3.5 FP8, and then in the files directory, you need to download this clip underscore g dot safe tensors, clip underscore l dot safe tensors, and also t5 double xlfp16 dot safe tensors. 
if you have less than 16 GB of VRAM, then go with this FP81. So I'm going to go with the P16. And in order to download all these three files, click on file, then right click on download, save link as again in the comfy UI models, go to clip and then save it here. So you see, I already have saved all these three files. So this is how you download the model. Now, one good thing about comfy UI and stability AI is that they have also shared a comfy UI workflow and that's it. that is how it works. For that, again, go to the files in that stable between 3.5 medium repo. And when you will sc scroll down, you will see that they have shared this JSON file, which is ST 3.5 M or medium example, click on it. And then similarly, click on this raw and save link as and just download it anywhere on your system. Once that's done, go to Comfy UI. In Comfy UI, click on Manager first on the right hand side. Again, if you don't know what this manager is, how to get it, please watch that video which I showed you about tutorial on Comfy UI. And then click on Update All. It is extremely important to update Comfy UI because they have just updated it this morning. Now it supports this medium version as you can see here so once you have updated it close it and restart everything everything by everything my i mean just click on this restart button it is going to restart everything once that's done you have your updated comfy ui then click on load on the right hand side in this menu and then load that um, json file which you have just downloaded for ST 3.5 so this is the one which I have downloaded so I'm just going to double click and it has downloaded my workflow here so you see let me make it fit into the screen and you can see that now the comfy UI is arranged let me make it a bit bigger and I will explain what is happening here so as I said comfy UI is a node based everything works on the node so if you start from the left this is where we have specified our model you can just click on this and then select the model then we have to select our clip model so click here this is a clip G then clip L and the third one which we downloaded this is where you give your text prompt which you want to create so we are just asking you to create beautiful scenery nature class bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle and then we have our negative prompt where this is the thing which we don't want in our image I'm just keeping it vacant at the moment and then we are providing it latent um, empty latent bit which is for the latent space and then we are doing model sampling and then conditioning of the prompt and this is a case sampler which actually generates the image so you just have to specify sampler and scheduler here i'm just going with this dpm pp2m you can select any other if you like but no, normally i also check out the euler ancestral but i'm just going to go with this one if you want to learn more about what is this sampler scheduler this uh, classifier guidance and all this i already have done a video on it and you can check that on comfy ui video one too and i also have done a separate exclusive videos where i have explained them in very very simple uh, words and then we are also down uh, you know loading our vae which is variational auto encoder which converts an image from latent space to pixel space so that latent space is a hidden abstract space where model creates the image and pixel space is where we could see it so everything looks okay to me let me click on q prompt on the right hand side and you see that now this case sampler is generating the image the model has been loaded while it generates it let me also quickly show you the vram consumption so let me make it like this so you see it is consuming just close to 16 gig of vram so make sure you have that much vram on your system and it has generated the image which looks quite nice to me yep you see so beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle looks really cool to me there you go this slight malformation on the right hand side but I think with the proper uh, form, uh, prompt, we can fix it. Okay, let's try to generate few more images. I'm just going to keep it here. 
and I will give it few more prompts. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, let's go back to Comfy UI. Okay, so in the next one, what I'm asking it, beautiful uh, scenery, nature glass, bottle landscape, purple galaxy bottle. And I'm just going to remove this time. I just don't want to confuse it. Now I'm asking it, serene white sand beach with crystal clear waters, lush green palm trees, beach is secluded with no crowds or buildings, small shells scattered across sand to seagulls flying overhead. Water is calm and inviting with small waves lapping at shore. Palm trees provide shade, soft, fluffy clouds in the sky, soft and dreamy. Now look at the image. How good is that? Because there was this bottle, so let me regenerate it. I think this, let's regenerate it. And I have set the seed, so it should be a bit different this time. And there you go. So look, it really looks good. There is a warm glow. There is no one. It's a secluded beach. The beach looks really soft and dreamy. So you can sense the dreamy look. So that is why I was quite impressed by the model. Because it has this, you know, tinge of um, emotion in it, which is quite interesting. And if you look closely, you will see some shadows of the trees and cloud. Really good stuff. Of course, there is a lot of room for improvement, but very, very good stuff for a, such a small model. And look at this image, which I have just generated for the battle scene. Let me make it a bit bigger and you will be, you know, let me read the prompt. So it says, Elven warrior in an epic struggle battle scene, thick of combat, flowing golden hair, glowing elven sword, which is quite good. Let me make it uh, side by side a bit. Okay, much better. So. It says adorned with ancient symbols surrounded by adversaries courage in his eyes so let me make it a bit bigger and you will see the courage you see the eyes and the courage and the furrowed eyebrows so really really good stuff look at the golden hairs and the sun which is shining from the side really good stuff and this is what really has impressed me vibrancy of movement masterful agility mid swing with sword there is and battlefield backdrop blood figures yes there are few blood figures forest setting with tall ancient trees evening light flittering filtering through foliage casting dramatic shadows intense gritty action packed high detail digital illustration realistic with a touch of fantasy this is really out of this world and now look at this image this is just an image of waitress so if i show you the prompt here it looks really cool let me make it smaller sorry yeah better so it just says extremely high quality high detail rock color photo young waitress with white uniform vintage style diner setting soft smile on her face carrying a tray filled with plates enticing food confident stride candid moment warm interior lighting Okay, so I have bit, uh, arranged it a bit and if you compare the prompt with the image, you can see that the quality of the model is very, very good. It sticks to the prompt and then it gives you everything as is. For example, look at this 1950s decor, rich textures. If you look at this lady behind this waitress, it perfectly shows that the whole atmosphere is of vintage 1950s nostalgic and timeless atmosphere very nice and check this one out impressive 3d render of a joyful robot racing along a futuristic highway dynamic and fast paced scene sleek and futuristic eye catching futuristic highway energetic and dynamic pose of the robot captivating composition that draws attention to the robot's movement very nice let's try out another one so again i'm just trying trying out with different prompts like in this one i'm asking you to do 
raw photo a close up portrait of an icelandic man age 52 highly detailed skin this detailed race eyes in sharp focus and highly detailed skin mean that and then we are just enhancing it and you see how good this looks really really amazing stuff it is hit uh, 8k uhd looks so real And let's try out one more. In this one, I am asking it to do pictorialist photo of a man in his late fifties in a designer racing attire beside the sleek sports car of a racing circuit taken under a bright daylight with an Arri Alexa 65 reminiscent of the work by Steven Meisel. Let's see what it does. Hmm, not bad at all. Very nice. and then finally i wanted to test out how it looks like when it generates or writes a text on the card so i have just given it this prompt on the left hand side and you can see that it's not bad and this was the one of the thing with between flux model and the stable diffusion flux is quite good in writing the text but still you can see even this 3.5 is not as good as flux there are mistakes but i think it is getting there so maybe let me just change a prompt a bit and then try again and you can see that in the next try still it's not uh, good enough it is trying anyway um i hope that you will listen to her and subscribe to the channel if you like the content of course and please also share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching